Welcome. It is time now for us to start talking about area. And we have already spoken about perimeter, eh? where perimeter is the sum of the lengths on the outside, if you like. Eh? If I plus these two or four sides together, that would be my perimeter. Yeah? And the area, that is actually the inside. Yeah? How much it covers, that is the area. Now, what kind of a polygon, what kind of a quadrilateral did I draw here? It is a rectangle. I hope you can see that, yeah? where the opposite sides are parallel and equal in length. Yeah? So they're both three centimeters. They are both five centimeters and where all four angles are actually 90 degrees, eh? a rectangle. Okay, now how do I calculate the area of a rectangle? And perhaps you already know, but it's still useful to remember that the area, so how much is in the inside, I'm just gonna draw a few lines. I have three centimeters, yeah, now this is not very accurate, but I divide it into three eh, equal parts, yeah, one, two, three, and I have five centimeters here. Let me see if I can do a better job now. It is a one, it is two, it is three, it is four and five. Well, not really, but anyway, let's say these blocks are all equal. How many blocks yeah, does my rectangle cover? Well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 blocks, the area is 15, yeah? Now, am I going to draw lines every time? Am I going to draw these blocks every time? Absolutely not, because the area of a rectangle is length times the width, yeah? Or base times the height. So in this particular case, five times three, should that will be 15. The unit is a centimeter, centimeter squared, okay? So the area, which is the inside, in this particular case, covers 15 centimeters squared, okay? And my blocks, I didn't draw them very accurately, yeah, but each block was one centimeter squared. I have 15 of them, that's why it's 15 centimeters squared. Five times three. Okay, so that is a rectangle. Now it's only a small step then now to a square. Yeah, this is a square. All four sides are equal in length. Yeah, opposite sides are parallel. Yeah, so the angles are all 90 degrees, a square. Now again, the perimeter of a square is four plus four plus four plus four. Yeah, but now the area of a square, the area of a square, well, same like a rectangle, yeah, if I would divide this into four times one centimeter, so I divide it into uh, one, two, three, four, yeah, because the whole side is four centimeters, so one, two, three, four centimeters, and I do the same here, those sides are equal in length, so this one is also four, so four equal parts, yeah, then each little square is one centimeter square, yeah, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen of them. So the area is sixteen centimeter squared. Because of our, also for squared, it is length times the width, which is going to give you the area. Four times four. Yeah, which is going to give you 16 centimeters squared. And that's why 16 is a square number. Yeah? Four times four, the area is 16. Yeah? 16 is a square number. If that would be five, then 25 is not a square number. But anyway, that's another video about square numbers. Area of a square, length times width, base times height, whatever you want to call it. Same for a rectangle, it is base times height, length times width, which are going to give you the area. I'll see you in the next video. See you then.